The defense brought forward a former D.C. homicide detective, but five defense witnesses got excluded from this trial. On this eighth day of trial for Kyler use, the defense's case continued but got delayed several times. And Judge, may we approach the bench? Multiple conferences at the bench causing the jury to leave several times too, and several more witnesses excluded. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I hope you got Tuesday's main defense witness, a former D.C. homicide detective, paid $10,000 by the defense to review the police investigations of Kara Kapetsky and Jessica Runyans. He highlighted a problem with an off-duty Kansas City police officer investigating the case. Why is that problematic? Well, there's the old adage that if it's not documented, it isn't done. And so information that he may or may not have been getting was not making it into the official record. And you probably also reviewed the But the prosecution tried to dissect his testimony, essentially going over all the evidence again. We know that the last call that Kara accepts before she walks out of her high school is from that man sitting right over there, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. Okay. The prosecution also got the former detective to admit something very important about Kyler Eust. Your opinion today is that Kyler Eust was the primary suspect in Kara Kapetsky's case and in Jessica Runyon's case because there was evidence to support him being the primary suspect. That is one of my opinions, yes. No further questions. The defense has a couple of more witnesses. They said earlier this week they could rest tomorrow, which means we could have closing arguments. Then the jury could get the case. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News.